Hello boys and girls, Joshua Random is here to tell you a story about a little piglet named Olivia by Ian Falconer. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. La, 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 la. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Rare. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth and combs her hair, and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for you or you know what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Oh, no. Time out. Sorry. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, mm. it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two. Three. Oh, all right, three, but that's it. When they've finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, You know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. The end. Thank you all so much for following along. If you like this and other read-alongs, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you, and have a lovely day.